Tonight, we take in the rich culture of Korea. And while you may have heard about Seoul, you may not know as much about the country's second largest city, Busan. This seaport town is known for these gorgeous mountains, fresh seafood, and the renowned International Film Festival. And I am ready to try it all. My first stop in Busan takes me to the colorful district of Gumchon Village. Some refer to it as Lego Village because of the symmetric rows of colorful block houses. Showing me around today is an artist in his own right, Korean actor Ko Yoon. Brother, you did not lie. This is amazing. During the Korean War, um, about 1950s, all the refugees in Korea settled and created everything in Gamchon Town. Wow. They built the houses and, and paint everything. With its terraced buildings, maze-like alleys, pastel colors, and original works of art, Gamchang Village attracts an increasing number of visitors each year. So I got some few fun activities for you yeah? that you can only do in Gamchang Village. Well, then I'm ready. This gorgeous fish is the symbol of the Gamchang town. Let me introduce the artist, Chun young -sup. How do you say nice to meet you? What he said. <laughs> Created by a group of artists, including Young Sub Jin, the piece pays tribute to the refugees that settled here decades ago, and we were invited to contribute. So what's your theme for, the, for this fish? Love. My theme is fingerprints. I sort of feel like you're cheating. <laughs> Each vividly painted block is meant to represent the fish that the women plucked from the beautiful ocean below. And it was these fish that kept their children fed as well as sustained the town during their hardship. I'm just thankful he let this masterpiece stay on the wall. Take care. Busan is home to the largest port in Korea, so fishing is at the center of the culture, and where there are fish, there are fish markets. And this is one of the most unique I've ever seen. If you had to make a guess, how many different types of fish would you say are in here right now? Hundreds and hundreds. Here is a heaven for trying quay. And what is hui, might you ask? It's probably the freshest sushi you've ever had. So we can go to any stall we want, mm -hmm. right? But this guy has a Yankees cap on, so we're going to stick with the home team. Pick out a live, breathing fish. Watch a man with a knife prepare that fish and eat. You're a very uh, good chopstick user. You think so? Yeah. That's what happens when you're Jewish and from New York City. <laughs> Same. Add a few toppings such as chili sauce, corn, garlic, and yes, even fried silkworms for something truly delightful. Very fresh. Very Delicious. fresh. And it tastes better when you drink soju with it. Where do we go to find that? I know some place. Wanna go? I'm with you, kid. All right. Every October, Busan is host to the Busan International Film Festival, one of Asia's largest and most prestigious. Directors, celebrities, and anyone who's anybody gather for 10 days of screening, eating, and drinking. And during the festivities, 10 bars known as Pajung Ma Cha offer the perfect place to catch up with friends over fresh seafood and soju. Cheers, and I'm gonna teach you a funny way to drink soju. Okay. So bring your glass to the machine, roll it up. I feel like it's put some hair on my chest. Come back. Even when like the fancy film festival comes to town and you have all the big directors and actors, those same people just walk up to randoms and start drinking and singing together. Mm -hmm. And this is the happiest place on earth. <laughs> From its vibrant streets to its rich seafood culture and glittering film festival, this port city has something for all tastes. Come on. Come on.